Hello, I am Danilo Gasquez from UC San Diego, and I'll be giving an overview of our work Artemis, a collaborative mixed reality system for immersive surgical telemetry. When someone suffers a traumatic physical injury, they usually require immediate medical attention. In some situations, such as a natural disaster, the right medical expertise might not be readily available. To save the patient, local surgeons rely on the help of remote experts through telemetry systems. In a typical telemetry system, the expert surgeon guides novices verbally and through video annotations. Unfortunately, telemetry forces the novice surgeon to shift focus away from the patient to the telemetry screen and then back, which sometimes leads to procedural mistakes. It also fails to incorporate the physical nature of surgery, as remote experts can't demonstrate the use of specialized trauma tools. Researchers have been addressing limitations of current telemetry systems by using mixed reality displays. Mixed reality displays are displays that sit between the user and the environment. They can show visual guidance situated on the patient, which helps, for example, in overcoming the focus shift problem we discussed before. Today, mixed reality research and telemetry is mostly focused on the novice surgeon. Remote experts still make use of regular flat screens. This gives us a lot of opportunities to improve communication between novice and expert by also designing with the expert in mind. The literature of mixed reality in remote collaboration is rich with examples of visual affordances that can improve communication between remote parties. For example, showing representations of remote objects, virtual hands, avatars, and more. So, to better understand how this rich literature applies to the domain of telemetry, we conducted a formative study. We invited four surgeons to role-play surgical procedures in a mock-up operating room. During the sessions, surgeons mentored one of our researchers on two common trauma procedures. First, side by side, and then by using existing mixed reality applications. The second part allows us to understand how different affordances of existing mixed reality technology can influence their ability to mentor novice surgeons. At the end, we video recorded the sessions and analyzed them to observe how expert mentor novices, the amount of information they need, as well as what they show to novices. We summarized our findings from the role-playing sessions into four goals that describe what expert surgeons need to better mentor novice surgeons. I recommend you to take a look at the paper for an in-depth discussion. But in a quick comparison with existing literature, expert goal 2 requires them to mark not only the location and length of incisions, but also their depth. With these goals in mind, we designed Artemis, a telemetry system that combines virtual reality for the expert and augmented reality for the novice. Let's go over each interface, starting with the expert's interface first. The expert interface is in virtual reality, but instead of using bulky virtual reality controllers, experts use their hands to, for example, enact the use of surgical tools. Experts can also use a customized pen to make annotations on the patient. They see the patient in 3D as a live reconstruction, and they can use this patient to show the location of anatomical landmarks, as well as mark the location, length, and depth of incisions, as seen in the video. Experts have access to several camera views into the operating room. This allows them to, for example, look at the procedure from a viewpoint free of occlusions, or from a camera on the novice surgeon's head. The interface is a medical surgical room, so to better understand where the novice is, the expert surgeon can see the avatar of the novice. Finally, the novice interface is simpler, as it uses augmented reality to show novices both the patient and the visual guidance at the same time. For an already overwhelmed novice surgeon, the interface is a passive display of visual information controlled by the expert surgeon. We conducted a qualitative evaluation of our system with six novice surgeons performing a range of emergency procedures on mannequins as well as cadavers. Overall, Artemis addresses the proposed expert goals as well as it enables them to communicate with novices in ways that are impossible to do even in real life. For example, in this video the expert uses their hand to show a way the novice can find the incision point of the mannequin by filling its larynx. Thank you for watching and don't forget to read the paper for more details on the system implementation as well as on the discussion.